In lessons three, four, and five, students plan and carry out investigations into how we can help prevent the COVID-19 virus from spreading. In lesson three, students investigate how the COVID-19 virus can get out of our bodies. They work as a class to plan an investigation to explore how far water droplets can travel when they're sprayed or flicked with their fingers. After carrying out the investigation, students analyze their data to understand how far away you should be from the source of these droplets to avoid being sprayed by them. In lesson four, students plan and carry out an investigation to see how face masks can block the droplets that come out of our mouths and noses, then combine their data and make sense of their results. In lesson five, students hear from a scientist about how the virus gets into our bodies through our eyes, noses, and mouths, and then plan and carry out an investigation to find effective methods of hand washing. The investigations in these three lessons can be adjusted to meet the needs of your learning environment and the interests of your students. And the teacher guides provide guidance about those options. You might be wondering though, can kids really plan an investigation? How does that go in a classroom? Let's hear about that. Yes, students can absolutely create their own investigations. I think it's important for students to be involved in the what, the why, and the how of any exploration. And this COVID-19 unit allowed them to do that from the very first day. So they were invested in their own learning from the first day, that first family tool that we um, discussed as a class. Students were really um, able to and encouraged to have their own questions and create their own questions and um, explain their curiosities and their wonderings about the pandemic. And so then after that, that then led the students into thinking, how am I going to answer these questions? How am I going to get the answers to my own questions? And I think that students, when they are able to have their own curiosities, their own questions, and then explore it in their own way, that has a much more long lasting and meaningful impact on their learning and their education then if I were to tell them, this is the question you're exploring and this is how you'll do it. So my job was to facilitate that exploration. So leading them in ideas of how they could get the information or activities that they could engage in, but not telling them what they needed to do. And they're absolutely capable of doing this. And because they were able to do the explorations and the investigations on their own, being able to have their own investigation, led them to some concrete learning. And that was really, really impressive and powerful to see. We returned to our question board and looked at our questions and thought, hey, there's some on here, some questions on here. I'm wondering if we can answer them or if it might help us understand a little bit more the answers to those questions. One of them being about masks and why we wear masks. Could we do an experiment with masks? Oh, yeah, we could do that. So just sort of guiding them to, okay, we're going to do a, an experiment with masks, but also what do we need to keep in mind to keep us safe? Because we know that coronavirus spreads through our mouths. And if we're inside, will we be safe? Not only guiding them through the process of designing an investigation, um, but additionally, it was cool that we're keeping in mind not just what's important to the content of this scientific um, exploration, but what do scientists do in general? Um, what do they have to keep in mind when they're planning an investigation? What safety protocols do they have to follow? I definitely think that kids have a better idea of, of how to come up with their own experience, experiment than you might think.